Hey everyone, in this quick tutorial we're going to talk about how to correctly mark your wrist and finger joints when rigging your character model in AccuRig. We're going to tackle a few different rigs here, so if you're not familiar with the AccuRig basics, please check out the Getting Started tutorial first. In our first example, we'll look at the most common character hand type with five fingers. Naturally, before you get to the fingers, you'll want to ensure that the wrists have been mapped correctly. You can use the reference image on the top right to determine the best position for your wrist marker. Make sure it's correctly placed from all angles. You'll also want to ensure that the elbow markers are correctly placed as well, again following the reference image on the top right. Generally, the markers will be placed fairly accurately, but may need some minor tweaking. Once that's all good, click on the Rig left hand button to enter the hand rigging section. Again, this character is fairly basic and the markers have been placed fairly accurately already. Generally, you'll want to place all the markers directly on their respective finger joints, and the end markers should be placed at the very end of the fingers so that half of the circle is over the fingers and half not. The thumb has less markers, but again, just follow the reference image for proper placement. Since your thumb may have slightly different orientation from the other fingers, you'll want to make sure to adjust the dedicated thumb direction gizmo correctly. Ensure that it is perpendicular to the thumbnail to ensure the best results. Once you're good on the right hand, then you can switch over to the left hand. Scan characters left and right hands may not be symmetrical, so it's always good practice to check the position of both, even if you end up mirroring them. After that, simply click on the Finalize Character button to continue on with checking the animated results. You can see that after that simple setup, our character is now fully rigged with a skeleton to drive its animation. You can apply one of the test motions focused on the hands to test out the result. The elbow, wrist, and finger joints will all behave better with more accurate marker placement. Okay, in our next example, let's take a look at a character with three fingers. Again, be sure to check for accurate wrist marker placement before continuing on to the hands. When you enter into the right hand setup, you'll notice that the auto detection is way off because by default the number of fingers is set to five. After we switch that to three from the drop down menu, you'll see a much better result. Again, you may need to do some tweaking with the positioning of the markers using the reference image and ensuring that the markers are placed directly on the joints and in the middle of the fingers from all different angles. The thumb angle gizmo also needs some adjustment here, so make sure that's taken care of as well before moving on. I'll move on to the left hand, and in this case I can simply just mirror everything since this character is ugly yet symmetrical. Once again, we can test the result with one of the test hand motions. For our last example, let's take a look at a character that doesn't have fingers. In this case, we're looking at this boxer wearing his boxing gloves. Once again, ensure that the wrist position is correct on both arms before continuing on. When we enter into the hand rig setup, we can once again see that the auto detection result is incorrect. This one is actually the simplest example because we can simply go up to the drop down menu and select zero fingers. The rest of the process is the same. Finalize your character and do a test motion before you export it to whatever target CG or game design software you like. AccuRig allows you to quickly and easily rig hands regardless of how many fingers your character has. That's it for this tutorial guys. Please be sure to check out our other AccuRig tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.